you need him. If you wanted to kill Isaac at any point, he would be dead by now. You really gonna call my bluff? You pathetic piece of shit! Quit fucking moving! He's a hostage. You won't kill him till you get what you want. Don't fucking test me! You know what I'm capable of! I don't want you to lose another one! You fucking <laughs> Holy fuck! Did you really just deflect that bullet with that sword? Yeah, holy shit! Oh, it's time to die, bitch! Relax. Bring it. This is not how Haven works. Oh, I fucking asked you. I am the Overlord. I make the rules. You ain't doing shit, bro! Uh, he could've fucking killed me by now. I mean, somebody's gotta have my back here. Might as well be me. Douche. Just quit the game, Isaac. Or I'll kill you. Whatever your wish is, ain't gonna happen. He's right, Isaac. <laughs> yeah, I fucking heard that before. You really think I'm gonna quit? At the end of the fucking game? Damn, Arachnid. I didn't think you'd ever be this scared of me. You wanna die? Like Solomon? Rebecca? Malachi? How about your sister? Piece of shit! Fuck you! Enough! See yourselves to Nazareth. I've lit the way. Nazareth? The fuck is up with all this biblical shit? What is- It's the dueling area. Go on. Time to settle this. Go, Isaac. Let's see how tough you really are. Yo, dude. Nostalgic. Face Whoa, your opponent. Hold up. Yeah, what's going on here? What were you saying about being scared? Hey, shut the fuck up, dude. Yeah, yeah, okay. Can I get like a rule sheet or something? Why? So you can turn it into a blunt and accidentally Yo, burn it even for, to the man. ground? What? Bump fists. Stand back to back and await my count. What the fuck? Is this. Are we really doing this thing? Dueling. Uh, you said dueling, right? Yes. Okay, I mean, I'm just... Are we really gonna duel each other? Hey, well, you said it's to the death? Yes. It's to... Okay. Uh, I just... I just... I wanted to make sure. What'd you say? Fun times? It all happened so fast, man. I guess this is it. Teamwork makes the dream work. I mean, are you... Okay. All right. Let's see how it's gonna be. Just do this thing. Dueling. <sighs> hey, man. Despite everything, no matter what happens, I just want to say, I haven't had much in my life. I haven't felt happy or purposeful in a while. But I gotta hand it to you, Abraham. You made a really fun game. They say when you die, your life flashes before your eyes. This happens because the brain short circuits and kills itself. Damn, dude. Is this supposed to get me excited to duel? Using the power of Eve, we can simulate this experience. Not just death, but flashes of memory. Perhaps some that may have been lost 
were forgotten. Fuck. He's got our data. What? He's tapping into our brain. The Overlord knows all our thoughts. It's the ultimate data breach. We agreed to it when we started playing the game. That's right, Abraham. What a tangled web we weave. I will count down from ten. You will step with each number, and then turn and fire when I reach zero. Good luck. <laughs> Enjoy the shared trip down memory lane, and may the best player win. Ten! Hey, you need another beer? Yeah, I could use another. Yo, did you see that girl on 213? Here, cross middle. Oh, 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 Damn. Damn good catch. You all right? Yeah. How you been? Everything good? <laughs> I did shake it up a little bit. Dude. What do you mean, dude? You didn't done the same thing to me. So what you been up to, man? Uh, playing a little field, doing a little business classes, things like that. Playing a field? Yeah. Well, you got any hot prospects? Yeah, you can hook me up. Mary. You can hook me up. Why would I hook you up? She you probably banged her anyway, right? Oh, come on. She got a sister? She got two sisters. There you go. Once That's me. Heavy, you know, you into that? Whatever. All right. Doesn't matter. No, I'll hook you up if you want you to. Beers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, everything looks good when you have no beers in you. <laughs> oh, man. Look what you did to my carpet. That's all right. You'll be all right. What do you think? What do you want to do? We'll go out and do something? Nah, man, let's play some Atari, man. I don't want to play Atari. You, you haven't beat Nintendo? me yet. You haven't beat me yet what, in boxing. In Pong? No, in boxing. Oh, boxing. Well, what? let's play something else other than that, please. What? I gotta take a fucking test. You want to play Nintendo? Don't, don't touch my beer here. We want to play Nintendo? Yeah, I'd much rather play Nintendo. Come on, Nintendo's not where it's at. It is, the it's a so much better. Dude, man, you could have closed the door. You could have closed the door. Oh, God. Yo, I was thinking, you know, what's the next step in the evolution of gaming? Have you thought about that at all? You threw evolution in the same sentence with gaming? Yeah, I mean, think about it, right? I mean, look where we, where we went already, right? We went from Atari, Nintendo. What's next? You, you ever think about that? Next. I don't think about that. I always think about the business stuff. That's all I, I ever think about. I mean, think, think about if we could be in that game. I always got appreciated Atari because that's where it started. I mean, think about the pioneers of that, right? Came up with a concept, right? What What's concepts do you have? The new gaming system, what do you think that's going to be about, right? I'm telling you, it's going to be something epic. Remember Viewmaster? Remember that? Yeah, I remember it. I clicked the little button and it changed pixels. Yeah, imagine that as a game. Though you're in there. Can you imagine that? I'm the one clicking the thing. No, you're not clicking the thing. You're there in the game. Because we're, we're sitting here like this, right? We're playing like this. Could you imagine being in the fucking game, man? You're in there. Donkey Kong's throwing them barrels down. You're jumping over them. You know I'm half fucked up and you're doing jumpy shit in your room. Well, I'm just saying, you're jumping over those barrels. It's like you're doing it. It's not, it's not that you're, you're, you're doing a little controller, you're doing it. Well, how the hell can you do that in a game? That's the next step, that's what I'm telling you. It's all coding, that's all you gotta you do. Can, you can code and, and, ha and, and be able to jump a barrel. So you're saying if you're standing, listen, no, no, just hear me out. Go ahead. Try to think. You can jump a barrel in a game, actually why you jump. And you think you jumped a barrel. You didn't really jump a barrel. There wasn't really a barrel uh, rolling at you. I mean, think about it. It's like, right now, this is all us, right? Why? Because you see it, right? You feel it, you hear it, right? Take what? all that away from you. Put a bucket over your head, right? Completely closed off, right? Where you hear nothing. And then insert something into that bucket. But is that going to be for everybody or just, just one or two individuals? I mean, it, that's, like, that's like like controlling your minds and shit. Well, kind of, but it's not really, though. It's not, it's not real. It's like, it's not reality. But you but, can, it, make, but you can but make it that you, reality. Yeah, could, you could make it that real that people would actually think in their minds that they were actually in that world. I believe you can. I believe that is the next step. That's the next step in gaming. Can you do that? I think I probably can. 
Why not? I don't got no money. Can't what? just do it. <laughs> what? What if I come up with the money? <laughs> Is it something you can do? You ain't got no fucking money. Come on. I got money. I got family money. Are you gonna take your family's money and? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't gonna so, make that shit. But can you do the coding? Can you? Do I think I could do something like that. That's what I'm going to school for. I, th I think that that's the next evolution of the gaming industry. I'm telling you. All right. Well, if I do the business side of Come it, on, you'll do it, right? Ass. I'll tell you what. Let me whip your ass in boxing and show you what gaming's all about. Oh, you want to do boxing? And then we can play into that shit. Mario Kart. Nine. We've been here a long time. What are we actually building here? It's an alternate reality. I mean, that's what we've been designing this whole time. But could, uh, could you define it for me? It's the same thing as like, when we played games when we were younger, right? We, want, we wanted to play games so that we can get away from whatever happened during that day. Maybe we had a bad day at school, we came home, we played games, right? We got away from that. Yeah, right? but this is the same thing. But can you describe the game? What's the thought process that you have of this game? What are, what are we doing? I think it's I think it's to escape. It's to, to get away from everything, right? I mean, it's like if you wanted to go into uh, the opposite of what your life is like. In other words, like you wanted to kill somebody, kill somebody, right? If you wanted to if you wanted to rob somebody, rob. If you wanted to have sex with somebody, you can have sex. I'm not with having sex with anybody. I have Mary. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about people playing the game. They can do whatever they want. There's no consequences for anybody. But where's the enhancement of this game? Why it doesn't do anything for anybody? It lets them go off in their own little world, and then when they come back to reality, do they do this stuff too? No, of course not. This is this is the chance to do that stuff where there are no consequences. It's, it's, not, it's not real life, it's a game. Yeah, but there's people involved that will get into this game and then continually come out of the game and commit murder, commit adultery, and-, and Well, that's not true. I mean, when you, played, when you played Mario and you were killing different creatures and stuff like that, did you go and kill somebody? Yeah, but that's a cartoon. I don't actually kill, you know, the Bowser or whatever the but case may be. But did you feel like Mario, though? Didn't you feel like that oh, guy? I may have felt like it, but it's still a cartoon. I, di I didn't come out of that world and think I'm gonna do that to real people. And that's what I think, in, in, in my mind, you're doing. I want something that's gonna enhance people's lives. I go, you know, educate them, create creativity, things like that. But this is, this is pioneer stuff. I mean, think about the recognition that we would get for this. Nobody else is even on this stuff. This is cutting edge stuff. And I understand the pioneer, and I understand people, you know, we're gonna be uh, on the cutting edge of things. But if something happens to an individual where this, this, these people come out of the game and they kill people, do you want that on your shoulders? I don't. Nobody's gonna go out and do that kind of stuff. This is, this is just a game. This is a place for us to go to get away from everything that we're dealing with. I mean, think about it. You had a bad life, now you can all of a sudden go in there and have a good life. You have a good life? Go in there and be a badass. Yeah, you go can in do there and be a want. badass. There's and no consequences. There is consequences. The consequences is, I'm gonna pull my fucking money out if I don't get something in here that I want. I want this to enhance people's lives, as I said earlier. I can't sit there and just justify people but, going around and fucking killing people but and fucking whoever they want. But people don't want control. That's what people... People want to get away from that shit. They get to deal with that every single day. No, people want to have no control. They want that, but the people need structure. They're like cattle. They need to be led every place they go. I disagree with you. I don't believe that they're like that. I believe that people want to be able to do what they want to do. And this actually gives them the opportunity to get away from all that shit here's of real what, life. No, here's what I'm asking, and no, here's what I'm telling. I want an ending to this fucking game. I want some, some people can strive through the game for. An ending, is that so hard to ask? If not, I'll pull my fucking money out. I mean, I guess I can. You want freedom. I'm asking for one thing, one thing only. Why well, don't, you're gonna have to come up with that end story because I don't understand. Why, why can't you just, just, just create me an ending? That's all I'm asking. You have all the funding in the world for you to create this game. All I need is an ending. Can you provide that for me, please? I guess we can come up with something. I don't know. That's all I was asking.
8. In the world is this place used to be? The company went bankrupt. We got a hell of a deal on it, though. Something with canvas. What are we going to do with all this stuff? You're going to have to be creative, Abraham. Who's going to clean all this shit up? Seven. Just trying to figure out where's Haven. The whole game is Haven. No, no, no. What it looks like. How, 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 the, how the people are going to perceive it, you know, when they, when they look at it. I don't know. Haven's going to be at the end of the game, I would imagine, right? Yeah, I think that's a great spot for it. You know, the competition of the game and then get to the ending. Yeah, I mean, I guess you could have a boss at the end. Yeah, I think a boss or a lord or a god would be great. You know, they're, they're going through the whole game and they, get, they have to defeat them, you know, to win everything. I yeah. think that's perfect. Exactly who's going to program this? Well, you're going to program it. Oh, I'm going to program it. Yeah. That's what you signed on for. Yeah, I'm going to program all this stuff. I'm trying to figure out the helmet over there with a bunch of pieces I got there. I got all these, this stuff that I got to do. And what exactly are you doing? Every time I turn around, you're with your girlfriend. Mary and I are probably getting married. Are you fucking kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you. So now you're going to spend every waking moment now planning a fucking wedding. What's next, kids? Yes, we're talking about kids also. What the hell? So I got to do everything here? It you isn't sit all back you. No, me. it isn't that way. I performed what I told you I would do. Financing, the business aspect of it. You said you would do all the programming coding. Is that correct? Yeah, but I can't do all this shit by myself. And every time I turn around, you're gone. I have a life. It's not my fault that you don't. This is your life. This, this is your be your fucking life right here. This was the plan right here. I do right everything. Here. I have to get away and be a family. That's what I want to do. This should be your fucking family right here. This should be everything that you have to center on right here. Why do you got to keep going out? I enjoy you it. You gave me here to do all this shit. Don't you enjoy what you do? I should just fucking quit. Go ahead and fucking quit. I'll replace you in a heartbeat. Is that what you want? Well, I want some fucking help. I can't do all this shit by myself. I, I'd like you to stay here, but no, you gotta go out all the time. Every time you turn around. Is that what you want? You want help? Yeah, I want you to actually put as much effort into this as I do. I put a hell of a lot of time into this. I'm asking you, do you want help to assist you with the coding? Yeah, I want your help with this. I can't do it. I have no knowledge of what you do. You have no knowledge of what I do. So I'm asking you, do you want help? Do you want us to hire somebody? Yeah, I need somebody to be hired, but I also need you to be here. I'll Every time I turn around, I fucking I... have a question for you. You're not here. I will be here as much as I can. What I'm asking you is, if you're saying that you're so overworked and you need help, we will hire somebody. And take some of the fucking I'm pressure about off you. I'm talking about why aren't you here? When I'm doing all this shit, why aren't you here? Why are you with your girlfriend every time you turn around? Because I don't want to be here every waking moment. I have a life out of this place. And every once in a while, you should too. Abraham, I'm out of here. Where are you going? Be with Mary? No, actually, I'm going for a week to LA, to E3. What are you going there for? Research. And maybe I'll find somebody to work for the team. Work with you. Have a good night, Abraham. Never happened. 
Okay. Don't forget to lock up before you leave. Six. Michael, you got the job. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Welcome aboard. Hope I can still call you Archie. You can. It's great to be on board. Thank you for everything. Do we really need a security guard? He's more than a security guard. He's going to be the third part of our team. If we get in disagreements, he's going to be our moderator. You must be Abraham. Joseph spoke a lot about you. My name's Michael. We're going to be doing a lot of work together. You two know each other? Yeah, we go back a bit. Yeah, we went to grade school together. Joseph told me you were looking for some help here. I'm a cop looking for a change. He said security would be right up my alley. I think he's right. So I was looking to be part of a team, and I think this will be a good fit. Yeah. I'm going to get back to work now. We'll be fine. Mr. Crabtree, could you take a seat, please? Oh, yes, sir. Do you happen to have resumes? I do, I have two here, which works out perfectly because there are two of you guys. So That's your first good. name is Noah? Yes, yes sir. I, I, I thank you very much for your time today. Do you understand the position you're uh, applying for? Oh yes, system programmer. Do you have any background in uh, programming? Uh, uh, yes I do, I went to school for it, I'm certified uh, in programming as well as coding. Coding also? Yes sir. Really? Yes sir. So you you're looking into to get into the gaming industry? Uh, I absolutely love the gaming industry. I feel like that it's it's the it's the the next television. Uh, uh, What's your favorite game? Uh, well, my favorite game of all time is is Miss Pac Man. Um, I just feel that she's absolutely gorgeous and she eats power pellets like nobody else has ever had. So you like the graphics then? Uh, I, yeah, I, I like the graphics. I just like the fact that it was an innovative game for its time. Uh, just like Excuse me, can I interrupt? Why why yes. are your resumes two different? designs uh, and they look totally different. Well, the, the information is the same, it's most important, but my mom helped me out with that one and I did that one on my own. I feel like it's important for me to kind of step out on my own as, yeah. a, as a man. And you have your mom as a reference. Yeah, of course. Who, who knows me better? But do you have any professional references? Uh, I've never worked, I, I've not had a, a job to get a professional reference, no. I, my Where? mom lives with me and she raised me and I came out of her vagina, so I figured that'd be a good person to, to know who I am. Well, where did you work then? Professionally, uh, again, let's, I have not worked. Let's get back to the I to went the to basics. School. I mean, like with the with the questions, with the. I mean, what are you looking to get into? I, I mean, I, I'm looking to get in, and I I, I want to change the gaming industry again. <laughs> the time is now to have that next step up. Okay, yeah. we had Pong that innovated everything, and then we had arcades. All of a sudden, Atari comes out, and you can play the arcades in your bedroom. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, everything's different. And then Nintendo comes out a little better, and the S comes out, or Super Nintendo comes out, graphics get better, and now look at what's going on. Exactly, that's what this company is all about. We're pioneers. We, you sign an NDA. Yeah. Right? Okay, so we can tell you that we're we're working on a virtual reality game. Like fully immersible? Yes. This is this is going to be. We're going to be pioneers in this field. <laughs> That's the kind of stuff I want to get into. I mean, there's nothing like that on this beautiful flat earth at all. That's the only, I've never heard of anything like that. It's going to be Excuse called the Great Escape. I've never heard of anything like that. Can we that. go back to the statement you just made? I've never heard of anything like that. Flat, it's the only what? Flat earth. What is it? Uh, I'm not following you. What are you talking about? The earth. The earth's not flat. I understand a lot of people are rounders and I get it. Okay. Uh, Do you really get it? Do you know why you're here? We can't have somebody like you that's going to come in here and cause disruptions. I'm not causing disruptions like that. I'm here to make this game better than what it's going to be. Do you, do you know programming? Do you know coding? I don't need to, to know. Sell I'm the businessman. Uh, of course he is the programmer. But when you come in and make statements like that, I don't want you part of this. But let's the find out what he can bring to the table, though, as far as coding and programming. No, this interview's done. Mr. Crabtree, I'm asking you to leave. Oh, this is getting awfully awkward. So you're saying I didn't get the job? No, 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 he's not saying that at all. Oh, I'm saying that. You didn't get the job. Well, that's I'm it. asking you to leave now. This is a two-minute so interview. I feel like I time to come over here and you're going to talk to me for two minutes? Two minutes too long. I'm asking you to leave now. Well, what if I have a bond? How are you going to make me leave then? Who's going to take me out? Archie! Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna... asking you to leave now. Make comments like that in this building another time. I will have I'm, you fucking arrested. I'm, I'm, thank you for your time. You ruined our time. It was a waste of time. Settle down, Joseph. I mean, you didn't really even give him a chance. He's off the fucking wall. If we were hired for a zookeeper, he'd be great. But this is what I need. I need somebody there right by my side to help me no, out. No, you don't need coding. a fucking nutcase like you that running this place. You actually doing the job, did you? You just don't turn around. He just, just told you the earth is fucking flat. And you want to get 
Andy Min here? Go tall code to him! Crabtree. Crabtree. I'm sorry about my partner in there. Uh, he didn't seem like much of a partner. He seems like kind of a dictator. No, I really like your passion and everything. I, I think you'd be a valuable asset to the team. Uh, uh, I would love to be involved in, in any way possible. Well, I'll try talking to him, but I can't promise anything. Well, uh, anything that you need, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Okay. Uh, I really believe in, in the vision and what you guys are doing here, and you guys are going to change the gaming industry, and I really want to be a part of it. Awesome. Hey, it was Abraham? Yes. Noah? Yeah, you, you have my, my, my information, please. Yes. Anything that you need, reach out to me. Yeah, yeah, we'll be in touch. Thank you very much. Okay, take care. Five. Hey, Joseph, what are you doing here? Martha, I called you earlier. You were going to watch Isaac for me. Oh, yeah. Come here, Isaac. Come on, go see Great Aunt Martha. She won't bite you. Oh, look at you. You just get cuter by each time I see you. So you're still able to watch him, all right? Oh, all right. yeah. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot. Where do you keep going anyway? Abraham and I are still working on a project, so it may be a late night. All right. All right. Thanks. Is this that uh, DVD thing you've been... Uh... For one, it's, it's not DVD. It's VR. And two, we are still working on a project. All right. Have a good night. Well, you got anything to show for it? Well, I do have a uh, blueprint if you wanted to see it. Sure. Ah, uh, a little closer. A little closer. Oh, interesting. What are you going to call it? We were going to call it The Great Escape. The Great Escape? What kind of a name is that? No, you got to go uh, name it after a woman. You know, like a boat? Martha. M-A-R-T-H-A. Who wouldn't want to play Martha? Oh, uh, we'll take that in consideration. All right, thanks a lot. Have a good night. All right, good night. Isaac. Want to play a game? Crazy Eights? Knuckles? How about war? Aunt Martha? Yeah. Are you crazy? No. Would you ever get an idea like that? No, oh, no, 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 no. That's not candy. That's my candy. Is there something wrong? No, I've got a lot of things wrong. Figure I lost my sister, your grandmother. I hope you never lose anybody really close to you, Isaac. Keep up. Okay, just go in. All right, take over here. Abraham, I gotta go. Can you look out for Isaac for me? Dad, I don't even know him. It'll be all right. Where are you going, Joe? I got things to do. Is it business related? Mary's pregnant. Wait, what? Not now. Look, I gotta pick up a few things for Mary. Could you just watch Isaac for me, please? Sure, I'll do everything myself. See you when I see you, Joe. All right, thanks. I'm going in the pool. Have at it. Candy pool! Yo, could you watch what the fuck you're doing? My bad, bro. Isaac! 
Isaac, are you okay? Oh, thank God. Isaac, what were you thinking? Are you all right? You could have drowned. Stay away from me. Isaac. Where are you going? Isaac. Isaac. Come here. Hmm? Here. See your sister? Would you like to hold her? No, not really. Come on. Here, I'll put her over your shoulder. Ready? Now we're just stick your arm under her pup. You're her big brother. That's your little sister. You always got to take care of her. Just remember that, all right? Rock her a little bit. Like that, yep. Yeah? Talk to her. What's up, Joseph? Remember, we got that call with the investors. What's she doing here? Mary was busy, so I brought Eve with me. Is that a problem? No, it's not a problem. I'm just finishing up. Finish up what? Some more details. What kind of details? I'm adding some animals. I'm adding, adding a little bit of scenery to it. You're not adding animals. This is complete. We can't afford to be adding and it's putting more stuff in this game. Look, I'm almost done. It's... No, you are we got, done. We got to make this right. We, we have to release this game. We have no more money. That's what the phone call is. That's why we have to have investors. I get that, but I'm almost no, done. No, you I mean, don't get it. We have employees. We have to pay. We have no money. And you're sitting here wanting to add stupid animals? It's and important. scenery just it, because you want perfect? It's important. Important to whom? Look, can I just finish this, please? I'll take the call. Would you watch Eve for me? Yeah, okay. I'm used to you that. You alright with him? Yeah. As long as she's not going to be a problem. What you doing? I'm working. Can I see? You won't know what you're looking at anyway. I'm working on a game that me and your dad are making together. What game? It's a reality game. Virtual reality. What's it called? Well, I want to call it My Virtual Escape, but your dad doesn't like that name. I don't like it either. Oh yeah? Well, you like animals? Yeah. Well, that's what I'm putting in the game right now. You can be any animal you want. I want to be a giraffe. You can be a giraffe. How about a spider? No, I hate spiders. They're too ugly. How about you be a bird? Then you can fly anywhere you want and you can leave me alone. I'm sorry, Isaac. It wasn't my fault. Bullshit! You were there. You could have stopped it. One. I'm not afraid. Not even a little bit. You gotta take it good isn't care of her, easier you. to love me Look at as you. we go. Yeah. Covered in shame. Cause I let Oh, our price is so much better. This is going to, you know, epitomize what you're you need. You're not the first, you're not the last to leave me cold. Can't get it back, get it back, get it back. Once you give it away, just get it mad, get it mad, going mad. Couldn't keep you safe.
Hello, Joseph. I'm doing just fine. How are you? Just great. Do you feel anything? Feel anything? You know, I can't say that I, that I do. It would be pretty swell, though. I'm feeling kind of bad. Can you do me a favor? Anything, Joseph. Can you do what you're programmed for? Right away. I'm not brave, not even a little bit. It isn't easier to love me as we go. Covered in shame, cause I let you fall from grace. You're not the first, you're not the last to leave me cold. Yeah. What? What do you mean the court decided with him? Are you fucking kidding me? What am I paying you for? You mean to tell me I lost everything? Everything I put in this company? Still see your fingerprints on my window. Nothing gold can stay. This sky. Yeah, I did. Now give me my fucking wish. <laughs>